The global solar market is absolutely blowing up. In the United States, the solar market is expected to grow by more than 15% from 2020 to 2025. It is predicted that the world will have 1 trillion watts of installed solar capacity by 2023. The result of this, the birth of a relatively new occupation. Solar panel installers assemble, install, and maintain solar photovoltaic systems. In this video, we're gonna help you answer the question, should you become a solar panel installer in 2020? We will cover salaries, the job market, and the latest trends, coming up. Hey guys and girls, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. I also offer consulting services. Feel free to check out the description for more information. So what is a solar panel installer? Solar panel installers assemble, install, and maintain solar photovoltaic systems on roofs or other structures. This role includes measuring, cutting, assembling, and bolting structural framing and solar modules. Solar panel installers also perform minor electrical work. Many of the job postings require the ability to lift at least 50 pounds. Solar panel installers generally work in a couple different work environments. The vast majority, 72% work as contractors, about 5% are self-employed, and about 4% work for utility companies. Here's kind of how the pay of these different work environments breaks down. Electrical contractors on average tend to make the most amount of money, this is by base salaries, with an average base salary of around 47,000 per year. Plumbing, AC, and heating contractors are next, with an average base salary of around 45,000, and utility companies on average pay the least compared to these other work environments with an average base salary of around 42,000 per year. This data is straight from the US government. It doesn't include benefits, commissions, or bonuses. Every year, the government surveys over 1,200 occupations and solar panel installers, that's a very, very new occupation. In fact, they only started surveying solar panel installers in 2012. So here is the national pay over time. Like I said earlier, they started surveying them in 2012. In 2012, the average base salary was recorded at around 41,000 per year. By 2019, this average base salary had risen to about 47,000 per year. So from 2012 to 2019, we have a total wage growth of about $6,000. This comes out to an average yearly wage growth of around $900 per year. So we can use this to estimate the 2020 salary. We only have data up to 2019 at this point, but we can estimate that the 2020 salary for solar panel installers would be around 48,000 per year. This is kind of how the pay breaks down in 2019. The starting salary would be anywhere between 30,000 and 36,000. And how much do the top 10% of solar panel installers earn? they earn more than 64,000 per year. These are people that have a lot of experience in the field or they live in a really hot market for this occupation. And that brings us to the next point. This is absolutely a regional occupation. There's certain areas of the country that have no need for solar panel installers. I'm thinking of say Alaska or Seattle where it's cloudy all the time. So this is very much a regional occupation. And all you have to do is look on indeed.com and you'll notice that most of the job postings are in Orlando, San Diego, Austin, and Phoenix. So which states tend to pay solar panel installers the most amount of money? The government actually has data on this as well. Here are the top five. The fifth highest paying state would be the Beaver State, known as the state of Oregon, where the average base salary is around 53,000 per year. Fourth highest would be the state of Massachusetts, also known as the Bay State. Average base salary also around 53,000 per year. Third highest paying state for solar panel installers would be the Aloha State, also known as the state of Hawaii, where the average base salary is around 54,000 per year. Second highest would be New Jersey, AKA the Garden State, 55,000 per year as a base salary. And surprisingly, the highest paying state for solar panel installers is the Great Lakes State, also known as the Wolverine State. This is the state of Michigan where the average base salary is 58,000 per year. Next, I wanna show you how the entrepreneurship rate and the pay stack up against other occupations. We'll first look at the entrepreneurship rate. Like I said earlier, about 5% or one out of every 20 solar panel installer owns their own company. This is very close to the entrepreneurship rate of electricians, which is around 6%. But certain occupations have higher entrepreneurship rates. 9% of plumbers own their own business. 20% of roofers are self-employed, and 13% of wind turbine technicians are self-employed. 
But keep in mind, 5% isn't bad. There's many occupations where entrepreneurship is not an option. So let's compare the pay of these different fields. Solar panel installers earn a little bit more on average than roofers. Wind turbine techs on average make a little bit more. They make on average around 57,000 per year nationally. Plumbers around 60,000 and electricians on average make a little bit more than 60,000 per year. Speaking of wind turbine techs, I also think this is a really cool new up and coming occupation that's growing really, really quickly. Like solar panel installers, you don't need a bachelor's degree for this occupation. For more information on wind turbine techs, definitely check out my video by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. Working as an electrician is also a great choice, and I also do have a video on this as well. Next, let's take a look at one of the greatest advantages that solar panel installers have at this point in time. That is the job market. The job market for solar panel installers is growing really, really quickly. In 2012, there was about 4,700 solar panel installers nationally. By 2019, this rose to a little over 11,000, and the job growth has been accelerating just in the past couple of years. From 2012 to 2019, there was a gain of 6,300 jobs, or basically an addition of around 900 jobs per year. So just from 2012 to 2019, the number of jobs for solar panel installers has more than doubled. There's very few occupations that are actually growing this quickly. Government economists predict that this will continue. They're estimating a 63% increase in the number of jobs over the next 10 years. As the cost of PV panels and shingles continues to decrease, more households are expected to take advantage of these systems, resulting in greater demand for solar panel installers. It seems that every year the cost of solar panels decreases a little bit, but most of the demand will be in areas that get adequate sunlight. So if you live in a state like Seattle, where there isn't a lot of sunshine, this might not be the occupation for you if you want to stay in Seattle. So let's say you're deeply interested in becoming a solar panel installer. How do you become one? Because it is a relatively new occupation, there are multiple paths to becoming a solar panel installer. Some people actually get into this occupation without even finishing high school. Some people get a high school diploma and then hop in, and others go to a community college or technical school and then hop in the industry from there. To shine light on this, the government did a survey of the education of solar panel installers in 2017, and this is what they found. They found that 21% or one out of every five solar panel installer actually didn't finish high school. 41% had a high school diploma or equivalent, 24% had some college, 7% had an associate's degree, and 6% had a bachelor's degree. College is definitely optional for this occupation. Just like every occupation, becoming a solar panel installer has its pros and cons. People that are attracted to this occupation tend to like to work with their hands and are realistic people. Higher education is definitely very optional for this occupation, and most people in this field don't need higher education. Also, about 5% are self-employed, which isn't bad, but there are certain fields that have a higher entrepreneurship rate. Definitely do your own research before jumping into this occupation. Are you a solar panel installer? Let me know in the comments below. Do you enjoy the occupation? What are your thoughts? Thanks. Again.